Delving into Fan Theories, English Conditionals and Action Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be exploring the exciting world of fan theories and understanding how English conditionals play a significant role in creating and discussing them. With examples from popular media and entertainment, we'll see how you can express hypothetical scenarios using English conditionals. Firstly, what are fan theories? A fan theory is a form of speculation or interpretation, based on clues and hints from a particular media. It can relate to books, movies, TV series, video games, and more. The fun thing about fan theories is they involve a lot of, what if, scenarios. This is where our English conditionals come into play. Just a quick recap, we have four types of conditionals in English. The zero conditional for real situations that always happen. The first conditional for real and possible situations. The second conditional for unreal or improbable situations. The third conditional for unreal situations in the past. Remember, the use of conditionals is crucial in expressing hypothetical situations, a vital component in creating fan theories. Let's apply our English conditionals in constructing fan theories. For instance, a popular movie series like, Star Wars. A fan might say, if Darth Vader hadn't turned to the dark side, the galaxy would have been peaceful. Here, we used a third conditional to express an unreal past situation. A comic book fan might say, if I were Spider-Man, I would join the Avengers. This is a second conditional for an unreal, improbable situation. It's important to note how conditionals help us paint vivid, imaginative scenarios, essential for effective fan theories. When discussing fan theories, conditionals again prove essential. You can agree, disagree, or even create alternative theories. Let's take Harry Potter, for example. Someone might say, if Harry hadn't found the Philosopher's Stone, Voldemort wouldn't have returned. You might agree and add, if that were the case, the whole series would have been different. Or, you might disagree, saying, even if Harry hadn't found the stone, Voldemort might still have found a way to return. Here, we see how conditionals help us engage in in-depth discussions and explore different viewpoints. And that wraps up our lesson for today. As you delve into the world of fan theories, remember to harness the power of English conditionals. Not only do they help you create intriguing scenarios, but they also allow you to engage in enlightening discussions. Keep practicing and remember, the more you use these conditionals, the more natural they will become in your everyday conversations. Happy theorizing!